Hi, have you been working on your website and you've got your dev site and your live site open, or maybe you've got uh, your site open and you've got resources open and all of a sudden you've got all these tabs open in Chrome and you're just like clicking around trying to find where you are every time you go from one to the other. I'm going to give you a way to help organize that and make it less frustrating. I'm Robbie Adair and this is OS Tips from OS Training. So there is nothing more frustrating than working on a dev and a live side or a staging and a live, whatever you call it. Um, and then all of a sudden realizing that you made some changes to your live site that you didn't mean to yet. You were still working on the dev site. And so it can be very confusing. You need visual representation showing when you're on the staging and when you're on the live. And you could do this by making changes to your CSS and such, but that's a lot more work. And so I'm going to show you, if you're using Google Chrome, a very quick visual way to separate these. So let's hop in and take a look. Okay, so I've got several tabs open here. Now, this would not be a typical scenario when you're working on a website. You may have the back end and the front end open of, we'll say this is our dev site. So a back end and a front end. And let's say we also have the live site, because as we make these changes, we need to go and make those to the live site. And so I've got my back end of my live site open and the front end of my live site, so I can see changes. Now, you can see how this would very easily be able to confuse me because they all look the same, right? And then maybe I also need to have some documentation. I'm working in WooCommerce, or I want some short code lookups, or maybe I'm watching a class on OS training on how to do things in WooCommerce. So I have basically three groups of things here, right? So I'm going to start with my dev site here, the back end. I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to say, add tab to new group, because I don't have a group just yet. So I'm going to add to new group, and we're going to call this one dev. So this is our dev site. And we'll leave it gray because dev, it doesn't really matter too much, right? So we're going to make this a gray color so it's not as immediately in our face because we're going to use red for our live. So I've now just created a new tab group. And you can see the name is right here with the color that we used. Now, this is also my dev site. It's the front end of my dev site. So I can right click now and I can say, add this to either a new group or an existing. I'm going to put it in my dev. So now you can see how the color, the gray color, continued underneath this tab. So we're going to do a similar thing, right? We're going to right click. We're going to add to a tab group, but this time it's going to be a new one for the back end of our live site. And we're going to mark that this is our live site. We'll make it red because we want that to get our attention, right? Before we're going to make a change on the live site. We want this to be very apparent to us visually that I'm on the live site. And then I could either right click like we just looked at and put this in, or I'm going to show you a new way in, in, the, in the next group. So I'm going to pick live. Now you see, I see both groups now or new group. So I'll pick live. So now I've got these under gray, these under live. Okay, I'm going to make one more tab group for us, and that is going to be our reference materials that we're using while we're working on the site. And I'll make this orange. Now, before, I showed you where you could right click on a tab and put it in there, but you also can just literally drag and drop a tab into a group. So I'm also going to drop this one in too. So I'm going to set that one in the group. So I've got three tabs in my reference tabs. I've got two in the live group. So these are color coded tab groups. Now, you can also collapse them and get them out of the way. So I'm going to collapse down my dev and my live because really maybe what I'm looking at right now are these tabs and I'm reading about what I'm going to do or watching a video on what the next step is. So now I would know if I want to work on my dev site, I would close my live tab group down so that I could work on the dev site, test out what I want. Once I get it working here, then I would open up the live tab group and I close my dev and then I would repeat my process because I know it works because I did it on the dev site first, which is always a good rule of thumb. One last thing about these tab groups, they're great and they're cool, but if I were to right now click and close this whole browser instance of Chrome, Chrome would forget these groups. So which may be fine. You may be done working on it and you don't need to save these groups, but maybe you're not done. Well, one, if you just left your, if you've left your machine on and you've left this window open, they're still going to be there. But let's say you need to close Chrome down. 
If you close Chrome right now, like I said, it would not save, but there is a workaround. If you go to your settings, then you can go to browser default here. And instead of having open a specific page or open these pages, you can say continue where you left off. And if you use continue where you left off, then if you actually close this window and open it back, it will remember the tab groups as well. Well, that was it. Pretty quick and simple, and it does give you a great visual representation while you're in that uh, Chrome window as to what's in each of the tab groups. And the collapsible really makes it nice because then you can open up the set you're going to work in and close them back down and get them out of the way when you're working on the others and you can read more of your title tags. But remember, if you close the Chrome window, it is going to forget those tab groups. So what you're going to need to do is remember to go and change your uh, default browser settings to continue where you left off. Okay, that's it. That's all I've got today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll have something for you next week.